I'm 89, I'm 89, I'm 89, I'm 89. My goodness, I'm 90. I don't feel any different. I don't look any different. Wow. Thanks for the memories of family I adore. I couldn't ask for more and friends like you beside me to make my spirit soar. I thank you so much. My father, everything reminded him of a story and that's where I really get my saying that everything reminds me of a story. Oh. This is a good one. Sam was playing poker with the boys. He lost $1,000, has a heart attack, and dies right then and there. And the, the boys have to go home and tell his wife, Sarah, that he's dead. How are they going to do it? So they decide, look, they can't put it off. They're going to have to go home and they're going to have to tell her what happened. So they get to the house. Sarah's there, and one of them says, you know, Sarah, Sam lost $1,000 at the poker table tonight. $1,000, he should drop dead. So he says, he did. <laughs> <laughs> like that, I can say. <laughs> well, the man... I don't know whether this is going to work. The man went to the doctor, yeah. an older man, and he asked the doctor if he could take Viagra. And the doctor said, I don't see why not. He said, but I want to tell you. I want to tell you just how to take it. You'll take it Monday and Tuesday, and you'll skip Wednesday and Thursday, and you'll take it again Friday, and we'll see what happens. About a month later, he meets his wife. And he says, how are you, Mrs. Goldberg, and how's Mr. Goldberg? She says, Mr. Goldberg died. Mr. Goldberg died? He says, from the Viagra? She said, no, from the skipping. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just as an aside, I was reading something about Japan in the New York Times the other day. Do you know what the most important day in Japan is? Erection day. Time out for some Harveys. I'm trying to figure out how you kids finally made me do something like this because telling one joke or two jokes to people is one thing, but sitting and telling a, a slew of jokes is, is not that easy. You know, I'm no Henny Youngman or no Alan King or no whatever, Milton Berle. Well, you're doing just fine. Thank you very much. Well, the man who sits at a bar and orders a drink for everybody but no Jews and the bartender says, what do you have against the Jews? He says, they sunk the Titanic. They sunk the Titanic? An iceberg sunk the Titanic. He said, iceberg, Goldberg, Greenberg. <laughs> Many is the time that we gathered, including family that scattered. We celebrated things that really mattered. We did have fun. There's more to come. A woman met a friend of hers after her husband had died a week before. And she said, you were at my husband's funeral. She says, uh, how did you like uh, the, uh, the plot where he was buried? Oh, she says, well, it was very, very nice. She says, my husband, may he rest in peace left instructions that I paid $5,000 for the plot. I only spent two. She said, and also, how did you like the coffin that he was buried in? Well, the woman thought it was rather odd, but she said, oh, very, very, very nice. She says, my husband, may he rest in peace, left instructions to spend 3000 for the coffin. He said, I only spent one. And my husband, may he rest in peace, left instructions that I spend $10,000 for the stone. How do you like it? One where the couple is. Oh yes, yes. During the war, it was difficult to get uh, uh, 
passage on a train, and um, this couple were on their honeymoon. So they, they, they finally got a ticket, but it was for an upper berth, and somebody else was going to sleep in the, in the lower berth. So they were desperate, so they thought, okay, all right, we'll do it. Well, they get into the upper berth, and she keeps saying, I, I can't realize we're married. And a little bit longer, she says, I can't realize we're married. And she keeps saying this for a number of times, and the fella down on the bottom berth is getting a little irritated, and he says to them, listen, will you slip her the old realizer and let's all get some sleep? You get it, Fred? Very good. Could I dedicate this to my daughter in France? General de Gaulle retired, and they were giving him uh, a celebration. And the couple who was sitting at the table with Madame de Gaulle and the general says to her, the woman says to her, Madame de Gaulle, what, what do you want to do? What, what are you looking forward to doing now that the general has retired? And she says, oh, she says, uh, I'm looking uh, for a penis. So the woman was shocked, and the general gets up, and bends down and whispers in her ear, ma chérie, it's happiness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, I'm, I'm really proud of being Jewish. I, um, I love the Yiddish language, I love klezmer music, uh, and I'll tell a few Jewish jokes, okay? A uh, little orthodox man is standing at the corner, and a car full of thugs drives by, stops the car, one pulls down the window and he says, hey Jew, what time is it? So the little Jew says, well, if you can see through my pants, you can see through my vest. <laughs> this is uh, was 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 Papa's favorite one of Papa's. I guess it's Fred's too, or else uh, I like the one about the uh, older Jewish lady uh, who went to her mailbox and and uh, and says and and has a little paper that says sex at seventy three, and she was so happy because she lived in, uh, <laughs> in unit number sixty seven and it wasn't far to walk. <laughs> Do I have to repeat that? <laughs> Can I sing a song? Oh, by all means. My cousin Sue is awful pretty, so I asked her to come to the city. She wrote right back, save your pity. I don't need no money to pay my bills, cause I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right, right here in these hills. Oh, a traveling man from Birmingham bought me a coat of Persian lamb, and a traveling man from Texas bought me a gown, and two bright red shoes with a hat that matches I got from a man from Natchez, and I didn't even have to go to town. All the traveling men from far and near bring me presents when they come through here. They come up the mountain, now they puff and climb, and they stay till twelve o'clock mountain time. Now a traveling man came from New York. All I got from him was a lot of talk, but I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right for a mountain gal. You know, for somebody 90 years old, to remember that is pretty good. It's damn good. I was how about, so how about? thanks for the memories. I like to make a date to really celebrate all the great occasions that we commemorate. Getting us together and I can hardly wait. I thank you so much.